was convicted of one of the most horrific crimes in Massachusetts history. Michael McCarthy is serving a life sentence for killing two-year-old Bella Bond. But tonight, as he prepares for an appeal hearing next week, the convicted murderer says he's innocent. And he's telling his story to WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka. Did you kill Bella? Never. Never. I never harmed a hair on, on her head. You know, uh, she was a beautiful, happy, healthy little girl. Michael McCarthy is five years into a life sentence. He was convicted of killing Bella Bond, his then girlfriend's daughter. It wasn't a murder because there was no evidence that it was a murder. The toddler's body, at the time unidentified, washed up in a trash bag on Winthrop's Deer Island in June of 2015. Officials called her Baby Doe. Who she is remains a, a mystery to us. Hoping to identify her, prosecutors released this composite sketch and said the body had no obvious signs of trauma and investigators were looking into the possibility of a poisoning. If there was an accident or uh, worse, if there was uh, mischief that resulted in a, a criminal act, clear your conscience. Months later, a tip led police to two-year-old Bella's mother, Rochelle Bond and McCarthy. Both admitted substance abusers were charged with her murder. Prosecutors focusing in on McCarthy's interest in the occult. They were saying that, you know, uh, I essentially believed that Bella Bond was in, inhabited by demons. Did you think Bella was a demon? Of course not. She was a beautiful little girl. Guilty of murder in the second degree. They needed to put this on somebody. With no other witnesses, prosecutors offered Bond a plea deal. In exchange for less than three years in prison and probation, she would testify against McCarthy. He had punched her in the stomach. Where was she? Laying in the bed. On her front, her side, or her back. She was on her back. It was her time to die. She was a demon. But the medical examiner said this about Bond's story of how Bella died. Again, I don't want to say that it's impossible for it to happen. It's just I think it's unlikely. As for the cause of death, the ME was unable to come up with a conclusion, saying she could have died from strangulation or a blow that led to a heart attack. Did you do it? No. No. Bond also told police Bella's body was in the refrigerator and that she and McCarthy later dumped her in Boston Harbor. The state police swept the refrigerator and they said there was never a body in the refrigerator. And they swept my car and they said there was never a, a body in his vehicle either. As for how her body ended up in the water? Did you have anything to do with that? My attorney doesn't think it would be a good idea to get into any Thing specific like that. Bella. McCarthy claims Bella may have died accidentally, taking her mother's prescription medication. The pills are, are pink, you know, in color, and Bella had a pink fluid in her stomach. In the end, McCarthy was found guilty of second degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. Bella didn't get justice first off because they never even determined what happened to her, and I definitely didn't kill her. So she didn't receive justice. Rochelle Bond clearly didn't receive justice because she committed perjury, and she's out walking around, and I'm in prison for a murder I didn't commit, for a murder that didn't even happen. The hearing on McCarthy's appeal will be held here next week. We did attempt to reach Rochelle Bond, but did not hear back. We did, though, hear from the Suffolk County DA, who says the conviction should stand and the sentence is appropriate for the harm inflicted on a beautiful, helpless child. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. Have you seen something the I-Team should be looking into? If so, send us an email at iteam at cbsboston.com. You can also call us at 617-779-TIPS.